Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the DCOM1084 error you might be getting on your Windows computer. So DCOM stands for Distributed Component Object Model. So basically it will allow COM objects to communicate with one another within the Windows operating environment. So we're going to go over a few different ways on how to hopefully resolve it. So just keep in mind a lot of this might have to do with corrupt system files and operating system components. So what I'm showing this tutorial isn't necessarily guaranteed to work and fix everybody's problems, but it's definitely a good first step. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Just have to click on the start button one time. Type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager here. Left click on that one time. Now you want to expand the display adapter section to so either double click on display adapters or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. Now you want to go ahead and underneath whatever your display adapter is, right click on it. Left click on uninstall device. This is going to say a warning you're going to uninstall the device for your system. Left click on uninstall. So then you will have to restart your computer once you're done in order to reinstall it. So that's what we're going to go do. So we're going to restart our device here. Okay, so once that is done, I would go ahead and suggest trying to see if you can resolve the problem if you're not getting the error anymore. So if you're still getting the error, I'm going to show you guys one more thing about how you can go about trying to fix it. And that would be to run a system file checker utility. So we're going to jump into that and start by opening up the start menu again. Left click on it one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt just left click on yes. Now at this point you should type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash. So again SFC space forward slash scan now. Exactly appears on my screen. Then you want to hit enter. Let it run. This will take some time and then hopefully you should be good to go. So as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.